Norman and the Oklahoma City Metro have some names of towns and streets that can be a little bit hard to pronounce. Whenever I'm talking to people on the phone about these towns and streets and uh, Native American nations, I really try not to giggle whenever they try to pronounce them, but can't help but giggle sometimes playing Mad Gab. So let's talk about how to pronounce some of these towns and nations. I'm Marcy Billen and I'm a real estate agent here in the Oklahoma City Metro and I live in Norman. So most of these are Native American names and I don't speak any Native American languages. So if I mispronounce something, <laughs> please correct me in the comments, that's totally fine. Know that I'm like speaking in colloquial terms, right? Like I'm uh, talking about these towns, and these words in Native American languages and how I've heard them spoken and I understand that that may not be the way that they are in the original language and I'm so sorry. Please feel free to comment and correct me if need be. So I am from Northeast Oklahoma. I'm from Green Country which also happens to be Cherokee Nation, one of the larger uh, Native American tribes and we have a lot of Native American names like Ulagash, Koto, Shoto, Shakota, sorry, I think I said that wrong. Um, and those might not all be Native American names. I'm really honestly not sure about that, but they're just kind of hard to pronounce. So I've looked up all the names and the meanings for these different um, Native American words that happen to be streets or counties or towns. Um, so if I get something wrong, just let me know. Number one is gonna be Tecumseh. So this is both a town and a street in Norman. The town of Tecumseh is definitely within driving distance, like a day's distance. It's like, I think it's 45 minutes from Oklahoma City. And it's located kind of um, on the east side of Oklahoma City, but a little bit more south. Tecumseh was actually a person and he was a member of the Shawnee tribe and a chief. I've heard people pronounce Tecumseh as Tecumseh, um, but I've always pronounced it Tecumseh. And that's how most people that I talk to actually pronounce it. Number two is gonna be Chautauqua. So Chautauqua is a street in Norman. And to my knowledge, this is, has nothing to do with Native Americans, although that doesn't really seem correct, but I can't find any evidence that it does have something to do with any Native American tribe. So Chautauqua is not a town, to my knowledge, in anywhere in the United States. It's actually a lake in New York State. But the meaning of Chautauqua is really interesting. So Chautauqua, a Chautauqua, it's so weird because you think of it as like a Native American tribe, but it's totally not. Um, it was actually a training camp for Sunday school teachers in New York State. But it kind of morphed into this traveling, entertainment show and um, these people went around in the late 19th century and the early 20th century to kind of like teach culture and different things right and they actually still go on there i've found evidence of them like in 2010 they they like have one in tulsa right so the chautauqua was a form of like a lecture sometimes they had concerts or different plays that they would perform for people if you want to watch my video on the chautauqua historic district i'll link it right here for you Number three is Chickasha. So Chickasha is a town and it is southwest of Norman. It's a, I think it's around a 40 minute drive. I'm sure it's a street in some places. I just haven't seen a street named Chickasha. So this one's always a little bit hard to pronounce because it, some people will say it Chickasaw. So I learned that it's actually the word Chickasha is the nation of the Chickasaw nation, but it's in the language of the Choctaw. That's why it's, different than Chickasaw. Anyway, <laughs> that's what it is. Number four is Potawatomi. This one's really fun to say. <laughs> I will admit that Potawatomi is a county. Usually when you're talking about the county, you'll hear people say Pot County with two T's. Of course, the Potawatomi are first and foremost a Native American nation. And there are different ways to spell Potawatomi like this, and then also like this. How it's spelled on maps is gonna be like this. Number five is Eufaula. Eufaula is several things. So it's a street in Norman that runs really close to campus and through downtown. And then it's also a lake, Lake Eufaula. It's really big. It may be the biggest one. I'm not sure in Oklahoma. That's something to look up, definitely. I'm not really positive. And then it's also a town at Lake Eufaula. So the Eufaula were another Native American tribe, are another Native American tribe who are associated with the Muscogee Creek Confederacy, if you have any knowledge of um, 
Native American tribes that came to Oklahoma kind of understand what I'm talking about. They kind of formed like this loose alliance um, in the Creek Nation. Number six is Okmulgee. Okmulgee is a town, it's also a street. So the town of Okmulgee is actually the capital of the Creek, the Muscogee Nation, and it's near Tulsa. That's where the Creek Nation is. The street of Okmulgee is actually located, well, we have one in Norman. Um, we have this kind of group of streets near campus that are named after different towns in Oklahoma. So like we have a Tulsa street that's really close to Okmulgee Street. So the Okmulgee, this word came from one of the tribes associated with Muscogee Creek. And I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I looked at the word and I said, hmm. Yeah, I've never heard of that before, so I'm not even gonna try. Sorry about that. The word itself actually means boiling waters and that's associated with hot springs. Number seven is Choctaw. So this one struck me as like, okay, well, this isn't really that difficult to pronounce, but I've also heard people pronounce it differently. I think the reason I know this word so well is because of the Tim McGraw song, right? Um, if you haven't heard the Tim McGraw song about Indian nations, then you should watch it. I'll put it right here for you. Choctaw is a town, and it's also, of course and foremost, a Native American nation. The town of Choctaw is located really close to Oklahoma City and Midwest City. I have quite a few friends that live there. My last one, number eight, is Okarchi. So this is a very small town, and it is northwest of Oklahoma City. And it's famous because it was on diners, drive-ins, and dives with Guy Fieri. Fiero? Fieri? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. And um, it has this little chicken fried restaurant, right? It's called Aishins. So the word Okarchi is actually a mashup of three different words, Oklahoma, Arapaho, and Cheyenne. And of course the Arapaho and the Cheyenne are Plains Native American tribes. I hope this was helpful. Please comment if you have a correction for me or um, have another word that you thought of, that'd be fantastic. And I'll talk to you later, bye.